Hello YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. This is going to be a double headed video again. I like to show off new ad ad additions to my closet and sort of experimentations. Because at first I was planning on actually putting this on the wall, which I showed in a previous video. A Guitar Hero controller that I don't can't use due to the fact that it's broken. <laughs> Pardon me. That sneeze was coming out and I was trying to hold it back, but I couldn't. But anywho, uh, one of my additional ideas was put extras of cartridges I have up on the wall, like gyromite here, which get kind of undissembled, but I was using it for spare screws and all that, so just got one screw in it right now. I better get some better tape. This tape I have is just making the thing come down and all that. But you guys get the idea. Without, you know, damaging the ceiling, put some items in there, and basically, so that way you can show off spare classic controller, like Genesis carts, Super Nintendo carts, Nintendo carts, extras and TurboGrafx-16 carts, well, Final Force is obviously, again, damaging the carts. Another idea I had as well is, um, this was the idea, let me take that off was putting a screw from the opposite of this and screwing it this way then after that was popping out after this is reinforced just uh, super glue or somewhat seal up these parts so that way it's in the wall or if you have a cork board put it in the cork board so that way it doesn't damage anything any of your walls I have a cork board and I use like this special paste that it doesn't damage the walls but it reinforces it so it stays on the wall forever. But obviously I gotta get myself some duct tape, some really strong duct tape. So that way that stays up there. That's gonna fall for sure, but you know, just an idea. Like, you know, have one this way, have this one the other way. Um you know what's funny is I did take a class for uh, decorative design a little bit. And I wasn't really paying attention too much other than a few things I grasped. But other than that, um, <laughs> as you could tell, my room is not too clean. So, anywho, here's a real part of the video. Real acclaim of the acclaim. Gonna play a little bit of Kickmaster for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So let's pop that in and... In the words of Luke Morris, play some of that. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> yeah, I just got this cart and it needs some cleaning for sure. That, that, that's, that's true. You know what's funny though? This is the thing about Luke Morris and no one realizes it. And you know, people probably just like, Oh, I'm sick and tired of people wiping that guy's ass already. Well... I'm not wiping his ass, I'm complimenting him. That's, there's a difference. I mean, if I was actually wiping the crevice of his ass cheeks, it'd be a minty fresh smell at the end of that uh, tunnel. But, anywho, um, this is the thing about Luke Morris. He brings out the the creative person behind us. A lot of people don't realize it. He probably, d he's like, oh, really? Damn. But, you know, he really does do that. He brings out, not the kid in us, but more of the creative person behind us he also brings out the engineer behind us he brings out the you know the the gamer in us like you know the positive side of a gamer not the gamer that goes on xbox live and shouts and cusses at other people not that type of gamer you know some people though probably do think oh yeah he brings all the bad to me because i'm jealous or something but um it's you know for me it brings out a good community uh, aspect haven't seen in a very long time you know very positive people helping each other out doing things for each other like there's friends been friends for years you know that's a good thing about it as we speak I'm cleaning up this cartridge so uh, you know I'm just gonna shoot the shit in a little bit but my personal opinion about Luke and I'll, I'll do a video each additional video discussing uh, additional people so don't feel like you'll be left out I'll get you guys don't worry but you know, a lot of people on here are very great and very generous, so, you know, Luke, as well, is just a very caring guy, he's very down-to-earth, very sweet man, you know, he 
cares a lot for his family. He cares a lot for his... Oh, see, I told you that car was going to fall. A matter of time. But, um, you know, he does stuff for you. He'll get it, the job done. Even at the cost of himself. And that's selfless. Which is, which means he will do it for you no matter what. He'll be there for you. That's a true friend right there, guys. So don't take him for granted or abuse it like that. You should never abuse a friendship like that. You know, it's nice to receive gifts, but in the same sense, you got to be grateful for that one gift you receive. You shouldn't expect more. Um, all right, this looks clean. Right. Not if I have to take a uh, credit card trick that Luke taught me. That uh, Ness. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably the Ness. Yeah, I have to get, probably get a quick blow. That's probably what it needed. Nice. <laughs> it was the blow after all. Probably some dust in there built up. Alright, we'll just click this light out. There we go. This game has a very, very interesting storyline, even though it's quite bland. Story of the Kickmaster is basically he plays this guy that kind of plays like like uh, Stridar. Very cartoonish style fantasy story. Even though at first the story like this intro was like, what the fudge is this going on here? No one messes around with Kickmaster. Look at that. He kicks people's faces off. This game has a leveling system, which is pretty cool. You can never... Oh, it's really tricky to, uh... Get all the items at first. I, remember, I, think, I, just, I think this was on the arcade when I first actually tried the real game of this. I can't remember if this was on arcade before. The enemies are so dark and gloomy, which is pretty cool. Colors are simple as hell in this game, for sprites, but this game is somewhat old. Music's just great. Ah, got two that time. Again, it's really tricky to get all of them at once. Oh, oops, that was a skull and crossbones. You don't grab the skull and crossbones, even though how cool they look. Powers. Again, you are the kick master. You kick is the main ability. Again, this game kind of seems kind of tacky at first and bland, but it's really fun. And it's really cheap too, so it's like, you know, you're not missing a value here. Probably gonna get through this level and end it, but... This game does not feature a save feature, so it's like an arcade-style uh, side-scroller. Which everyone here just about likes those, right? Right? Really reasonable price for this game. I think I didn't even pay no more than $3. Kill this witch. Bimbo hold still. Be very careful, these guys will hurt you pretty bad. Like she does, because you're not Ah Shoot. Got two little kick masters left. thing about this, at least it starts you off back at the boss, so it's like, you're not missing. You 
can kick these guys and kill them so you don't have to deal with them, but they'll just respawn again, so you just... You shall do that. some sort of drinking flask or something. Nah, I'm just joking. It's a uh, life up one magic. Password is something I won't remember. So I'll just look it up online for the next level. Graphics are great on this level. That's uh, Kickmaster. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, it's really a affordable game. It's pretty fun. A little bit of a challenge behind it. But other than that, uh, it's really a good pickup buy. So good for your collection if you like those nostalgic kind of tacky games. So with that said, if I could find the cap to my... <laughs> Lost the cap to my alcohol. That's not good. This stuff will dry out. But anywho, uh, take it easy, guys.